everybody. Welcome to a beer tasting video. My name is Jonathan. I am your host today. And as per usual on my channel, I'm going to try and bring you guys regular beer tasting videos as well as other content as well. Um, every beer tasting video for the record is going to be a first time taste test essentially so everything that you see me showcasing on my channel as far as beer goes is going to be a first impression so stay tuned today we have a special beer a special IPA the duck juxtapose by four winds brewery I don't know that probably not pronounced. I'm definitely not pronouncing that right. There is a J, a U, and an X right beside each other. I am definitely not pronouncing that right. But anyway, I pronounce it juxtapose because I'm Canadian. Uh, this is a wild IPA made in Delta, BC. It is a 6.5% alcohol rating. Drink fresh. Gentle, gentle, gentle ruse. Unfiltered. Anyway, there's a little write up. I'll give you a little, like, kind of a look see at the art of the whole thing. I have this nice little uh, stamp on the bottom. Very nice. One of the things I always liked about craft beer in particular is the unique designs as far as, like, art on their cans and their bottles go. It's definitely non-comparable when you consider regular beer and just the plainness that you get from it, not only in taste but also in aesthetic. I'll read you the write-up. At the heart of this distinctive West Coast IPA stands the juxtaposition of ripe tropical fruit esters and wild yeast funk. Moderately bitter and graciously balanced where orchards meet pastures. The Zephyrus series, named after the Greek god of the West Winds, is a series of bold and unique ales inspired by the hop forward brews of our native West Coast. And now that we have the technicalities out of the way, Let's dive right on into this bad boy, shall we? Cheers. Excellent. Yeah, so this, as Pretty much all, I, all IPAs go, and then you know, this is a bit of a word of information as well. If you've never tried an IPA beer before, they taste very strong, generally bitter and citrusy. This one, of course, being very high on the citrus scale, um, right away you can taste that bitterness. There's that slight bitterness in the IPA, but it's bl uh, uh, like of the IPA, sorry. But it's blended so well with the citrus note that it's almost indistinguishable. At times, I'm able to sort of detect if the flavors are blending well. And sometimes I've noticed in some IPAs where the bitter and the citrus don't go to ver don't don't go together very well for whatever reason. Um, however, I'm impressed. Yeah. And it feels refreshing. That's another thing about it. It doesn't feel as heavy as I thought it would, to be fully honest with you. Um, it's just refreshing. It's got that bitter taste, but like... I could, I could pound back a few of these. Of course. Anyways... That has been today's video. Thank you for watching. May you have yourselves a good day. Like and subscribe on this channel and I'll bring you some more new stuff for you to consume. Have a good day and drink responsibly.